All right, 19 minutes after the hour. By the way, I just, uh, believe it or not, Trump approval rating, Trump's approval rating uh, is the highest it's been in 11 months, 42%. I think it ticked up, uh, what, 6 7%, something like that, six-point increase. Um, all right, let's get to your calls. Let's go to Carmen in Alito. Carmen, thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patience. Hi. Uh, hi, Rick. Uh, thank you very much for taking my call. Uh, I came across a very interesting quote by George Washington where he states, uh, truth will ultimately prevail where there is pains taken to bring it to light. And, and Rick, you touched on the problem, I think, hit the nail right on the head when you said that truth is not seeing the full light of day. There are a lot of people out there that are just plain uninformed, and we can talk ad nauseum on the on your program and other programs about whether it's guns or people, but that is not solving our problem. We're doing nothing more than preaching to the choir. I, I think we really need to start spending our time, which you kind of touched upon, is how we get the truth out. And I look to what Mark Zuckerberg recently did with a full-page ad with regard to the uh, apology about information being put out, uh, you know, being captured uh, from Facebook. You look at uh, what Donald Trump proposed with regard to his opioid uh, press conference talking about campaign ads. The New York Times has put ads on Fox News. Uh, Tom Steyer, that uh, billionaire, put out ads on Fox News with regard to, you know, the, the tax plan being a bad deal for the American citizens. And I think that's what we need to focus on, putting out an informational campaign on the likes of CNN, Headline News, ABC, NBC, CBS, and Primetime, and not go on their programs because they'll, they'll just manipulate, but put out an ad campaign that put out the facts. And, you know, you, you, you've touched upon it. I mean, look at the gun violence in Chicago. We got more gun control laws in Chicago and look at the gun violence and wonder how many people are, are fully aware of those facts. So I think we put out a fact campaign and get the, the truth out there. And, and, and in hopes that that can finally shed some light and get this country on course. Uh, Carmen, I don't disagree. The problem is um, the Republican Party itself. You know, you've got a really <laughs> a bunch of really old white guys uh, sitting up there saying, yes, it's my way or the highway, pontificating from on high. Uh, they don't think they need to do anything. And they do. I, I'm here to tell you, they're, they're going to get killed figuratively speaking, in the midterms. Um, you know, they just probably, the Democrats, uh, what were there, over a million protesters on Saturday? I bet they got half of them registered to vote. They created a whole new voting block in one afternoon. The Republicans have got to get off their duff and say, well, just because I'm a Republican doesn't mean that I don't have to do anything. You're right. A, a truth campaign, campaign, an informational campaign. Um, Democrats know how to do it and, and have been doing it. Look at, look at this. The Democrats exploited a school shooting, turned it into a voting block, and these kids are so woefully uninformed, it's not even funny. You would think the least the Republican Party would do is put out an informational campaign. Okay, well, no, the guns don't shoot, shoot 60 rounds um, per second. No, this, uh, nothing, crickets. They're talking about uh, a porn star and whether the, uh, the tr uh, President Trump had sex with her 12 years ago. I don't care about that. You are witnessing the Republicans losing the midterms, even as I speak. You got a retired Supreme Court Justice, John Paul Stevens, coming out doing just what you said in the New York Times. He wrote a piece, Second Amendment ought to be repealed. Democrats everywhere are putting out their agenda, their narrative, and nobody's calling on, calling them on it. Certainly not the news organizations. Well, hold on. What is it assault weapons are again? Well, they're like atomic bombs. I mean, nobody is saying anything. You know, you can forgive these teenagers uh, to some degree for being so uninformed. They're not taught anything in the schools anyway. Um, all right. 
Let me step aside. Very good call. I appreciate it. 424 the time. I'm Rick Roberts. We'll take your call. 1-800-288-WBAP. 1-800-288-9227. You just heard it. That's what you're up against. And they believe it hook, line, and sinker. How do you get the message across to them? How do you get the information across to them? How do you get the truth across to them?